All right, my name is Wake and I'm the CEO of Lumet and I'm here to give you a little overview of our digital audio workstation. Lumet is a digital audio workstation designed for rapid unbridled music creation. It contains the professional functionality of a system like Pro Tools within, a, within an easy to learn user interface that allow you to learn it within a weekend. Um, just to show off the, uh, some of the functionality, we'll start with the audio edit window. You open the edit window by clicking on any audio block. You have fade in, fade out. You can grab these tabs and modulate the audio just like this. If you click these buttons, you have a list of different curves you can choose from. You can also pitch correct from here, uh, stretch the audio. You can also just grab this, this tab and move it, modulate it. And what's really interesting is, now this isn't the best audio file to show this on, but if you have a really percussive audio file, these little red dots, what they do is they pick up uh, the, trans the important transients in the beat, so it's a beat detection algorithm. So if you were to click D for the draw tool, you could draw uh, stretch points just like this, but if you press draw again, it turns on draw with beat detection. So it will snap to the important transients in the audio file. And then if you have snap off, you can just stretch it like this. We provide several different uh, stretch algorithms. Uh, light is a least CPU intensive, um, and you're sacrificing uh, the quality for that, but advanced is very uh, accurate in terms of quality, but it's a little bit more CPU intensive. So we can put this on advanced just to give you a little demonstration of the stretch quality. So we have a very accurate uh, stretch and pitch correction algorithm. Moving on to the MIDI, you create audio MIDI tracks from the plus button up here on the track list, and you can just select you know, MIDI, and all your VSTs appear in this drop-down menu, so it's very easy to create a, um, a MIDI track. So if you create Massive, click OK. Now we have Massive down here. If you hold Alt, you can uh, draw a MIDI block. Just double click and I had snap off, so let me put snap back on. Now the snap's on, it will draw to uh, the value of a bar. And if you select all of these, you can reverse the sequence, you can invert the sequence, you can have the positional length, you can multiply the positional length. And uh, Legato, what Legato does is it takes the uh, end of the MIDI note and extends it to the one directly after. So if you hit Legato, it does that, exactly that, it makes legato. What about, um, uh, does there a console view, or how do you do mixing in this? All right, so you have, your, you have a mini mixer right here that gives you the ability to, um, to, to have a view of the sequencer and also mix. Uh, you can create return tracks by pressing Control shift r See, I just created a new return track. Right click, you can uh, bring up the, the name dialog and you may, you, know, you may call this delay or something. And here in these combo boxes, you have all of your return tracks. So you can you know, send to the delay and then ch chorus, as you can see the, the parameter changed. You also have this functionality in terms of faders here on the mixer. Um, but in the main mixer, you have the ability to send MIDI in, accept MIDI in, to Lumet and send it out. So, so any uh, MIDI output device will send MIDI time code to like let's say play an analog synthesizer so that you can record the output of that synthesizer back into Lumet using, a using an audio track, but you can do all the sequencing here within the computer. Um, other than that, you know, basic solo, mute, arm, uh, panning, and uh, uh, you know, fades. But the quality of our compressor uh, limiter and, no and noise gate can actually be heard in this example project because that's what we use to master this track. So if we play the ma if you want to get a good example of uh, the quality of our effects on the master. So here's the master. Uh, these are the effects that come from mixing mastering. So you have EQ, you have compressors, side chain capabilities right here, pick up any track and the mix. Uh, what's really cool about the compressor is on multi-touch. Remember, all of Lumet is completely multi-touch, so you can carry it on a Microsoft Surface. And all these parameters you can move simultaneously on multi-touch.
Yes. So uh, Lumet has a lot of, uh, you know, it's optimized for multi-touch. Every parameter is big enough to touch your index finger. So this is a, a surface you're using? This is a Microsoft Surface, yes. And what, one of the cool features we have is if you select audio in this audio, in this uh, file browser here, you hit this glue button and you have snap on, you can literally just like glue audio into the sequencer like that. It just stays on your finger until you disable the glue button, just like that. Um, it's very easy to navigate with multi-touch. You can put on the draw tool and, you know, just draw a MIDI track there. The MIDI notes can, uh, the MIDI notes can get vertic very vertically large, so you're able to just tap them in. You have a big select all button, so you, of course you have access to the reverse, invert, you know, have the position in time, du uh, multiply the position in time. We have legato, duplicate the entire sequence. You can also, what's really cool is if you take snap off, you can just kind of like draw automation with your finger. And that's for the pitch wheel, mod wheel, after touch. And as you can see, uh, so you know that you have this drawn, it also appears here in the, um, in the, in, on the block in, in the main sequencer as well. So you can shut that and you know you have that automation. Is all the functionality of the desktop version in the... Absolutely. And we were actually able to install Native Instruments Complete 10 on the Microsoft service and we don't have any issues. Here's FM8. Um, you can hit, you can go to read and pretty much any parameter, you can just tap it and add it to this XY pad. And then you have the ability, you know, to modulate the parameters from a more touch-friendly interface. Um, what's also cool is if you go to uh, the automation edit window and you draw in a uh, automation block, and you um, you know you zoom in here like this, yep. um, you know you can draw automation like that. But what's even cooler is you you can actually zoom. And you can get the points to be a lot larger, so you can like you know now grab these more comfortably with a multi-touch screen, and uh, move them around and find edit on the go. Um, we also the beat detection algorithm really comes in handy when you're on the um, when you're on a touch screen uh, interface like this. So let me just create another audio track and uh, load another loop in here. But you see, it picked up the transients, like right there's a transient, you know, right there's a transient, and all these little red points. So the idea with using the beat detection algorithm was actually to make very precise placements of stretch points and cutting um, easier on in a touchscreen environment. Is there um, any track limitation on either either uh, platform? It, it's really all up to the resources of your computer. We have a dialog that tells you when uh, your your system is pretty much running out of resource power. But there no, there's no limit, and we've gotten up to 70 plus tracks on desktop. Microsoft Surface, you know, it's it's a mobile processor. There's not like a four, like a four core i7. It's you know a dual core, but we do have multi core processing um, that really splits the processing of the VSTs on different cores. Uh, all the mixer, all the mixing, the sequencer, the audio processing, the resampling, all that spread out to be as efficient as possible. Um, but we've it's perfect for making you know beats and um, on the fly. Maybe you uh, you know you had you're you're working on production on the desktop and now you have to go run for work so you can grab your tablet save the file in the Dropbox exact same file format so what you're doing we didn't want to make a widget to sell in like let's say like the App Store we wanted to make the we wanted to make a legacy desktop applicate uh, DAW mobile and that's exactly what we have done so this is the full version desktop application on a Microsoft and, Surface and the files are interchangeable yes it's the same file format it's the exact same application so this application is the same one you download for the desktop okay. available uh, it's available now. You can download it on our website, which is www.lumetaudio.com or lumet-audio.com. Either one will get you to the right place. We have a 30-day free demo. Um, you can do anything. You can create an entire uh, composition. You can bounce, render, create an entire song, save your project files. Just really full version, unlimited. Um, so give it 30-day demo and uh, tell us what you think. We have a community forum, so post any suggestions for future development. We're only 22 months old, but we think we have a hell of a product. 149.99. Great, thank you.